What is going on guys and gals? Brooklyn Bound the Raid Scientist here and today we're going to show you a video on how to get the new exotic pulse rifle Revision Zero introduced in Season of the Seraph and how to do the entire Operation Seraph Shield mission from start to finish. All the puzzles, all of the different buffs, and how to get to the end and get your pulse rifle. So, a couple cool things about this pulse rifle is that you can change between a two burst or four burst mode. And it's customizable and craftable on the Enclave. You have to do some quests and things to upgrade it even further each week. Going back into the Operation Seraph Shield mission and completing the Catalyst. And completing this will allow you to reshape this weapon and getting it things like Frenzy, Outlaw, and even Fourth Times a Charm. This is going to require you to go back and do this mission multiple times. So hopefully once you go through this walkthrough, you'll have everything kind of memorized and be able to do it relatively easy. This guide, I'm going to do a quick run through solo. It's really not too bad solo. So if you want to do it solo, you don't have a fire team, feel free to try it. The combat's not too hard. And it's mostly just learning where all of the buffs are and where all the panels and where all the things are to unlock each door. I also want to note that in order to unlock the ability to do this mission, you have to have completed the seasonal quest line, which is called More Than a Weapon, up to week three. Once you've done this far enough, the node will unlock on the helm in the director, and you can launch both the normal version and the legendary version. If you have any questions at all or need any help figuring something out, just drop it down in the comments. I usually do a great job trying to reply to everybody. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the channel and get linked up with all of our other Destiny 2 content. So when you load in here, you're going to have these towers. They're going to see you, uh, just like some of the missions and the heists. Uh, you want to just kind of follow the enemies, and that's going to be kind of true throughout the entire um, encounter. You always kind of follow where the enemies are coming from. It's going to be kind of the path or the, the area you uh, you want to go. Um, so I usually go straight here, let this rock block this one, and go straight towards this rock here with this knight. Block the beam, and then kill the knight. You can, there's a million different ways you can go here, but this is the way I like to go. And then you go over here to this crevasse, or this opening. Right. You can see I keep resetting my timer back to full. And you're going to go in this building here. There's going to be an ogre here. You can just skip the ogre if you really want to. Alright, so now you're going to enter the Seraph facility. Um, this part is kind of just a one-way uh, map. There's really no wrong way to go. And you're going to enter through here and go through this cave. And you're going to be introduced to the laser beams. Uh, if you don't have the upgrades that you can't allow them to go through them, you're going to want to wait um, for them to disappear. And some of them you can go over and under. You're going to go over these. Slide under these. Go around, slide under these beams. There's one on the floor here, so you kind of just jump over it. Jump over that one. Alright, first room. Enemies are going to spawn. This is where you're going to get your first buff. Alright, so clear all the enemies out. And you're going to see this one's got a yellow one thing above its head. That's the scanner buff. Okay, Pick this up. You'll be able to see some things that you normally wouldn't be able to see. The first thing you'll be able to see is this panel. So you go ahead and hack this panel. And when you hack this panel, another one's going to turn yellow, which is this one over here. Hack this panel. And then a third panel will appear to hack. So you need to hack three panels. When you do that, these things are going to drop down and allow you to travel up into the Seraph Station. You notice the scanner buff on my screen, there is no timer. So I have it indefinitely until I either go through a door that removes it or I deposit it. All right, so here's where you're gonna learn how to deposit it. You'll see these terminals up here. This is where you can deposit your scanner. You use the augmentation to deposit your scanner into it. And when you do that, it opens the door. 
Proceed forward into the next room. And in this next room, there will be another new scanner buff. And another set of um, terminals that you're going to have to hack. Clear all these enemies out. And here's the new scanner buff. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Clear out some of these enemies. They're really not that bad. First panel's over here. You're going to want to hack this one. Then, second panel, you're going to have to go find. So you want to shoot this vent and go through here. And the second panel is on the other side of these vents. In here. And then the third one is back where you came from. You will notice some doors or passageways that are covered by lasers that don't disappear. Those are for the Revision Zero uh, drones that you can shoot. But uh, you don't need those to just complete this mission normally. Here's the third and final hack. Should unlock this door. Alright. Now the Servitor, you have to kill in order to be able to use this panel. Anytime the Servitor is awake or alive, you won't be able to use the panel. So... And deposit our scanner in here and we'll open this door all right next scanner room is right here um, we're gonna get a new scanner buff we'll go ahead and clear out all the enemies first there's the scanner So I got the let's finish I got the f new scanner buff. The first panel is over here. I'm gonna hack that panel first. Then a bunch of enemies spawn, which tell like I told you earlier. You kind of want to follow where the enemies come from to know where to go. That lets us know that there's a little vent up here, which will take us to our second. These ones disappear, so you wait. And once you hack the second one, these lasers go away, and this door opens here. Now, the third panel is a little tricky because um, you can't actually get into this room, but that's the third panel. But you can see that this panel is actually connected to some wires that are in this room over here. So I'm going to go pay attention to the fact that there are four panels, right? And the one that's yellow is the second one from the right. So I'm going to put this in here. I will now not, not have scanner, and this door will open. Okay? And when I go in this room, here's those four panels. And remember, it was the second one over. If you hack the wrong one, you'll die. But if you hack the correct one, you will get the door unlocked. That's how you know which one to hack. All right, that unlocks this door here. You take out these things on the floor. They're a pain in the butt. Bunch of turrets in this next room. After you cleared out the turrets, you can head out via this doorway. Alright, now we've come into this next room. There will be a new scanner splicer right here. Grab that. And then I recommend clearing out this room. There will be a bunch of enemies in this room. It might take you a minute.
All right, so we have to navigate this room, as you can see with this special pattern on the floor, um, and get to these terminals. Now there are three terminals on the left, three terminals in the middle, and three terminals on the right. We have to hack one terminal in each of those three sections. How do we know which one to hack? Well, with your scanner buff, you can go up to the top level and look, and you can see which ones are highlighted. So on the left side, it's the right one. In the middle, it's the middle. And then on the right, it's the right. So I usually just leave it up from left to right. And it's right, middle, right. So now when you go in this next room, you're gonna have to follow the floor, but you can only touch the floor where it's yellow because if you touch where it's not yellow, you'll die. But when you go in there, you won't be able to see this. So there's a map on screen here. You can find these all over Reddit. It's pretty straightforward. Basically, just as you go through here, always stay on the sides, but then avoid these two by two squares in each corner. So we need to do right, middle, and right. Now when we go through this door, we're gonna lose our scanner buff. It's gonna get deactivated. So we need to remember where to go. We go all the way down here. Don't touch this one. You can just crouch carefully under this beam. So we got right. Middle. Be careful you don't touch the edge here if you have to do the right one. That'll unlock this door. And now we're gonna do, we're gonna get our the first new buff called Operator. So you've been, Scanner is the yellow buff that allows you to see stuff that you wouldn't be able to see normally. An operator allows you to shoot specially designed panels. All right, so kill the operator splicer. So I'll drop this red buff, grab it, and allows you to shoot these little panels by doors and open things up. So this is what it looks like. We'll shoot this panel, and it will open up a door. All right, so now we'll go in here and clear out some enemies. In this section, there's a total of four panels we have to shoot. We just shot the first panel. So now we gotta find three more. So the second panel is in this red room on the left. We can shoot it right here. That's panel number two. That'll open this door. There are these enemies. Note, there is a current bug at the time of making this video, which uh, you can get soft locked and basically you can't progress this encounter if you ever open this door and these shriekers are not here but the knights are you're probably going to get soft locked and need to repeat it just letting you know bungie is aware of the problem and they're fixing it but there's no timeline for the fix if you do get the shriekers you should be in good shape go ahead and clear all the ads and then we again we got two panels now we need to get the third so you're going to slide through here and you're going to look through this little doorway, and you're going to look at the panel on the wall on the right. You can shoot it right there. Now we're going to head back, and I'm going to get the fourth and final one to open the door. So we'll go over here, and there's another hole in the wall we can go through. There's enemies in here. Again, always follow the enemies. Clear all these enemies out. And you can shoot the fourth panel through this opening in the window. And that opens the door that you need. So head back into the main area where you started in here. Some newly spawned enemies. And there will be a door over here. An acolyte will kind of tell you that you need to go out here. And you can continue on. bunch of these traps in here you can shoot them or you can ignore them either way this door will be unlocked all right there's a turret on the roof in here and there's a captain in here that'll drop a key card that's kind of what you're looking for um 
kind of where that soft lock happens I told you about. Sometimes he won't drop this key card and allow you to move forward. Clear out all these enemies. And then clear the servitor. You have to clear the server to be able to use the terminal. Servitors prevent the terminals from being used. Go ahead and put your buff in, and it will unlock this door. All right, so the first encounter here is just a mini boss with some brigs. Um, so, to, you know, rockets for work or you know, really whatever. Um, go ahead and rally the flag um, and then save this crate for if you run out of heavy ammo. Don't, don't waste your heavy ammo yet. Shoot the barrels in the middle here to start the encounter. Um, boss will spawn in. Be immune at first and then you'll be able to damage him. You basically want to just get, get him down to like a third of his health and then... Uh, he will go immune and the Briggs will show up. It's really not too bad. Just uh, play it safe because you are in a darkness zone so you can't respawn. Um, kill it. Just basically clearing a bunch of ads, working your way around and clearing all the Briggs as they uh, as the ads spawn. Um, I'm gonna fast forward through the video here. Nothing crazy. Just uh, use all your heavy until it's empty on the Briggs and then you can go refill it over there at the uh, refill station. Alright, once you finish, you can finally exit out of this room via this door. It says now you need to get captured. Um, it's kind of part of the story part of this mission. But it wants you to basically surrender to the Fallen. Um, so you can get to a different part of the ship. So you go in here and it's going to ask you to surrender your weapons. You surrender your weapons, and they'll, they'll, they will quote-unquote capture you, take you up into a different part of the ship, into a holding cell, and then of course, because we're guardians of the lights, we just magically get our weapons sent back to us, we receive our weapon transmit, and then we escape and just melt everything. You have a captain here, take him out quickly. And then the first thing you'll want to do is open this panel right here, interact, and open the doors. It lets all of the Braytech tech security frames out to help uh, kill enemies. Work, work your way down the hill, uh, down the ship, clearing all the enemies. And there will be another door at the bottom here where you can interact and open it up. There will be some turrets in here. You can take out the turrets. This door will open, there'll be two more turrets. And uh, this is a, a fun, um, kind of nice scenery jumping puzzle as you make your way out here. So, really not too ha hard, it's pretty linear. First thing you're gonna do is jump down here, all the way down onto these platforms. And you're gonna make your way across the space station. doesn't hurt to have a ranged weapon of some kind here because you will have to deal with some knights as you can see up here. So taking them out early is kind of nice so they're not bothering. And there will be some sh um, sh sniper shanks as well.
Alright, you'll get over here. When you get to this part, you'll get to find an operator buff. Remember, operator allows you to shoot those special panels. We're going to shoot these things down. You have this buff. There'll be three panels you can shoot, which will open little platforms in these little openings. So jump over here, um, and you'll see the first one right here, second one right here, and third one off to the left. And it will bring these things out that you can jump on them. Sniper shanks will spawn. Take them out. There'll be a bunch of sniper shanks um, up here. They are really obnoxious. If you don't know what to look for them, they can get overwhelming. Of course, everything's on reload here. some ogres and some more enemies here and you'll just want to take them out so you can proceed Take the opportunity here to fill up on your ammo if you need it. And then you'll deposit the operator that you still have into the door and it will open up. And you'll be faced with that boss again. He'll be back and this is where you'll take him out. Again on legendary, he can be fairly tanky. So be careful. Normal mode, he's really not that bad. He's gone. This door will open. And now you're going to enter a room where you're going to have to actually do both buffs, scanner and operator. So you're going to get operator first. You get operator and there's going to be a panel here you can shoot. And a panel here you can shoot. So there's two panels. That opens this door. There's a turret in here. I've been taken out. Give me some exploder shanks too. They'd like to sneak up on you. So you're going to have to scan this panel. So now you've opened this door. You can go in here. Deposit your operator buff. Take out everything in here. Pick up the scanner buff. You'll scan this terminal. And then you'll go over to where the other door opened over here. And you'll scan this terminal. And then it'll open this door here. There's another operator in here. pick up this operator buff I don't have I have scanner still sorry so I have to deposit scanner get rid of it you can't pick up one with the other one still equipped 
You can't drop the buffs either. You have to deposit them in those augmentation terminals. We're going to grab operator. And then we're going to shoot this panel up here on this pillar. It'll open this door on the left, which will have a scanner. Get a turret in here. Grab, grab the these. Uh, we got to deposit the operator. So put operator in. We'll pick up scanner. There's a first panel in the room that you got the scanner from, and that'll open the door. Bunch of exploder shanks. And there's a teleporter over here that'll take you to the next area. Some more heavy ammo or ammo if you need it. Go ahead and put your scanner in here and it'll open the door. And now we're gonna learn the third and final buff and that's suppressor. So you'll see this blue buff from the suppressor splicer. And when you get a suppressor, there'll be, you'll see these little like drone looking things. And you need to, you'll notice that this boss is shielded. To suppress, you need to stand in the circle and you'll notice the boss has that little grid on it. If you do one damage to it, you notice that the, the node goes away and now it's basically tethered to that enemy. So you need to do it to all three to suppress. You go to each of the three nodes, stand in the circle, shoot the enemy. That one's activated, so then we go to the third one, stand in the circle, shoot the enemy. Now all three are activated, so now the boss is suppressed and it opened this door here. You gotta kill this uh, terminal thing and then now the shield will be off the, the uh, sentinel and you can destroy it. Once again, we can deposit our buff. It will open the door. And this is the final area before the final boss. Final boss isn't too bad. You're gonna use suppressor. Um, and um, having like a rocket or a linear fusion rifle is probably the best. Subclass really doesn't matter. It's really not too bad on normal mode. Um, Essentially, you're just going to be clearing enemies, fighting this boss here in the middle, and then suppressing him to open up a bunch of doors to undo his shield. So we'll start off by getting frozen. <laughs> we'll start off by doing some damage to him. All right, he goes immune. Take out some enemies. And then after we take out some enemies, we need to break his shield, and we're gonna use the suppressor to do that. The suppressor will be up on these catwalks above kind of where you spawn in. So take your time here, there's no time or anything. Clear out as many enemies as you want, and then go ahead and get the suppressor buff it up and now you'll see there are three drones just like in the previous room there's one here on the left one down in the middle and there's one up on the right we are going to shoot the boss so stand in the circle the boss has the grid on him shoot him once he, that node has now been used now we'll go to the middle node shoot the boss and then we'll go to the top right node and once all three have been activated it will open up three doors um, each, there's going to be a door on the far right right here with the thing on it. So we open this door and it'll destroy this uh, shield generator. We door underneath where he's the boss spawns. So um, you'll go ahead and shoot that shield generator. Clear out some enemies here. And then go for the far left, and there's one on the far left as well. Once those are all shot, the boss's shield is down, and you can rinse and repeat. Do some damage, and do it one more time to finish him off. I'll fast forward through the rest of the combat here. Really not that bad. 
Legend mode, play it safe. Other than that, you should be okay. And then that is essentially going to be the end of the mission. I'll show you the last thing you got to do here in just a second. Alright, boss is dead. You'll have one final task. This door will open all the way. It'll say upload the virus. And you will go in here and get your revision zero exotic weapon and the loot from the mission. That's it. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. Um, and that will do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment below. Appreciate it. Talk to you next time.